Hey friends, it's Erica. Welcome back. I have a process video for the Hip Kit Club creative team and I'm going to be focusing on the embroidery hoop die. It's the Hoops Flower and Fronds metal die. It is a Hip Kit Club exclusive and I am going to be using the March kits with this. I'm going to try to use this paper as my background. I absolutely love the florals that are on here and the text and the splatter and the mixed media look to this paper. And I think I'm going to cut out the hoop in this really pretty pink paper. It's called Taffy. This is one of the uh, paper basics uh, this month in the March paper basics pack. Um, I do have embellishments here to use from the kit as well. And I think I'm going to just focus on the Simple Stories collection and I might bring in some of these chipboard pieces as well. And um, I'll probably use this set for my alpha if I do end up using the alpha. Um, but that is my plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and cut out the hoop um, and we will go from there. So I'm going to quickly run this embroidery hoop through my die cutting machine on this pink pattern paper, but I am going to end up changing my mind um, and not going with the pink, and you'll see that here in just a minute. I'm going to end up switching it out to some white textured cardstock. Okay, so I've changed it up, and I have cut it out of a white um, textured cardstock, and I cut it out four times so that it would be... Um, thicker so you can see it does have foam adhesive all the way around it because I do want to pop it up um, but it is a it's thick um, I use a thick textured cardstock I'm not sure if you can see it there but um, it's nice and sturdy and I'm going to pop it up and have this photo of the kids uh, behind it and um, there is going to be a little bit of the white border of the photo showing on the side but I'm not going to be worried about that because um, I will have some florals and embellishments on the side. I'm still not sure if I'm going to end up using this background or if I'm going to swap it up or swap it out, um, but I'll figure that out here in just a little bit. But I, I did do the white, um, and I'll probably end up doing a white background with maybe some splatters or maybe even use the splatter stamp from the um, color kit. I'm really not sure um, exactly what I want to do, but I am going to change it up and not do the pink hoop and then go with this um let's see the pink one is pretty I guess I could layer it layer this textured up on this white to really pop it up but um we'll see we'll see what I end up doing I'm gonna go ahead and stick this one down on the photo and then we'll go from there Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start by removing some of the backings off the embroidery hoop and getting it stuck down to the photo of our kids. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and just trim off that extra photo that I don't need, uh, just using these scissors uh, and get that trimmed up. And then I'm gonna switch out my background paper. I really love this paper here that I have down, but I'll save it for another layout. And I'm gonna swap it out for this this paper that has like these really colorful florals on the side you can see some like newspaper print and then the paper has like a really fun texture to it it's really hard to see in the photos but once you guys get your kits and see it it's a really really pretty it almost looks like uh, like modeling paste all over the page so i'm going to uh, add more foam adhesive to the back of the hoop and get it stuck down to the layout i'm going to move it like towards the right where the cluster of florals and texture is and then I'm going to pull out the stamp from the color kit and I'm pulling out the little splatter marks. It's a smaller stamp with just like some splatter marks using some black ink and going to ink this all over the page, trying to add some around the embroidery hoop, but then also adding some of it um, on the right side of the layout as well, just to kind of all tie it on to tie it in together. And then I will end up adding like a cluster to the left of the page and adding more um, stamping over there and that'll be here in just a little bit the layout came together really really quick um, I love the embellishments that are already there on the paper so I didn't really have to add a whole lot to it gonna go through the embellishments and see what I want to use um, I use a large 
chipboard title piece that says beautiful and I love the way that that looks has it's popped up there at the bottom of the embroidery hoop um, this die is really really fun and it's got some leaves and things in it as well um, and there's two different size hoops that you can pick from so I was debating on if I wanted to use two like both sizes and do two different photos but I did just end up doing one I do want to cut out a bunch of the smaller hoops and create a grid layout with that I think that would be really fun to do as well so if you haven't picked up this die um, I think it is a must-have and there's lots of different things you can do and I'm excited to see what the rest of the team ends up doing with this die I took one of the large florals from the cardstock stickers um, from the sticker book, cut it in half, and I'm going to add it to, um, like tucked in around the embroidery hoop, and then add a couple of these really pretty butterflies from the cardstock sticker sheet. And I'm going to add one on the chipboard title as well. Just going to tuck some things in around the hoop just to kind of fill it in and to make it look like it's all like one giant piece of floral. Um, on that right side of the layout. So it's gonna tie in with the printed paper and it's just so pretty, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna trim a little bit off of the left side of the uh, layout base and tuck in a piece of this pink. And I'm gonna add um, the border strip that comes on the 12 by 12 paper or the 12 by 12 sticker sheet from Simple Stories. And I'm gonna tuck this um, or get this adhered underneath the layout and then distress the edges of the uh, 12 by 12 base so that this pink strip with the border sticker is just like peeking out from underneath. And that's just gonna add some more black and pink to the left side of the layout, have a little texture with the distressed edge. And then I'm gonna create a little cluster on the left side of the layout as well. That border sticker is super sticky. <laughs> you could see that it got stuck to that pink paper and it did like curl it a little bit and it made it look distressed even more, um, which is totally fine because the layout is a little bit distressed and vintage looking. So it, it worked out in the end. So I'm just going to use my mat here to get everything lined up and then get that stuck down and then just ruffle up the edges of the white paper. I'm going to create a cluster here with one of the chipboard pieces. I'm going to add some stamping as well, a little butterfly, and then also I sprinkled some of those adhesive brads around the layout. So I'll put some up here on the left side as well just to help tie everything together. And then that pretty much finishes it up. Super simple. This stamp set, you guys, is so flipping awesome. I love it and I can't wait to use like the brush strokes. But just this little splatter stamp is so fun if you love the look of splatter but you don't like to mess with the splatter because you don't know where it's going to end up uh, this is the stamp for you because you can control where the splatter is going um, i did use like some washi tape to cover up the large splatter mark and um, that way i could just use like the smaller three or four um, splatters and you'll see that right here so you'll see that i just splatter just a little bit but that big splatter mark is not on there um, and you just use washi tape, cover up the big splatters, ink it up, and then remove the washi and then ink it down. Super simple. Um, so I will have some still shots for you guys at the end and I will leave everything linked down below. I hope you guys pick up the stamp set, or that's the stamp, well, the stamp set and this embroidery hoop die because it's really fun um, and I think you guys will really love it. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys get some time to do something creative and I will see y'all soon. Bye.